being an artist is like a signature of your own that when you draw or paint something there's that certain skill that you possess that it's yours alone that when someone looks at it from a mile away a person can tell oh i know the person who drew that i know that person's skill Hello, my name is Nantong Olivia Mary. I'm a visual artist based in Uganda, and I would like to welcome you to my little garage, a studio too, that my father gave me. I would like to show you around what I do when I'm busy. During this pandemic, I've been doing some works. These five pieces have been so dear to me. So this is called Rebel Queens. As you know, most of us are rebels in life, but you have to reveal the rebel in you. And then this one is called self-meditation. You know, the effect of meditation, the good things that happen within your body and soul. And then this one is called the vessel of light. And it's all about the vessel that we women possess inside our bodies. And this one is called my body, my rules. Not caution, but obviously that's a warning. So it's up to you to decide. <laughs> Then um, I have, the one is called Perfectly Incomplete. In our lives, our lives are never complete, but then obviously that's the aspect of life. You have to fill up a missing piece in your life. Life is a puzzle. Then this one, I love it so much. It's called Scars to You, beautiful. Many of you are beautiful in your scars and most people have scars and all those scars hold a lot of stories. Since childhood, I've always loved doing art, and it was uh, inspired by one of my brothers. He's a late brother, he's deceased now. You know, as a young child, you're always intrigued by how a, an artist creates a certain piece. So throughout my childhood, I decided to take on my brother's, should I call it a legacy, that journey of art. When Margaret Trow was starting, there were no brushes, there was no paint. People would think without the box, because they would always tell us, think without the box, don't think outside. Just imagine if you're in a situation where you don't have equipment, you don't have brushes, you don't have canvas, but you have to create a piece. So slowly by slowly, that's how I started adapting myself to mixed media. I love the the different shades of an african woman they're fun to play with and uh not just all, it's not all about just the melanin it's about what's within them what they're capable of doing so when i paint women i just want them to be aware of what they are positive about themselves confident about who they are comfortable in their own skin I mostly paint the very dark skinned women and then I paint other categories like those with uh, vitiligo, rare skin condition like patches all over their skin. I also paint those with uh, heterochromia, uh, those who have, each eye has a different color. And then uh, I also have those with albinism. <laughs> East Meets East is a, it's an exhibition that is based in Israel. So uh, I exhibited three pieces. One is called uh, God is a Woman. Another one is called Robot Lady. And another is Beautiful Monster. They're like puzzle pieces. Cause uh, when you're building them up, you piece them up piece by piece. The most challenging thing is after campus, what next? Will I carry on with this? We need more exposure for us, the girls. And let's not look down on ourselves because we are capable of doing many things. And okay, another challenge is multitasking. Those responsibilities that they have to wash utensils. But thanks to my parents, they understand my situation. Because if they weren't, none of these pieces would be existing. 
Well, I couldn't live without showing you my final piece. It's called Pregnant in this Pandemic. Uh, it talks about what pregnant women have been going through when this pandemic came into Uganda. And I'm pretty sure it's something that all of us have experienced. The challenges that they have faced. This is the piece that I exhibited for the Kampala Art Biennale 2020. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this show. And uh, if you want to get to me, you can follow me up on the social media handles. You can follow me up on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and even my Gmail.